I've gotten, seen, and heard people asking a lot of questions about MBBS and BDS, medical school generally. In this video, I've gotten someone who is a final year student of medicine and surgery, and he is going to be enlightening us about this. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, thank you very much. Um, Martin Moses Tay. Um, a final year medical student at the University of Medical so in this video we are going to discuss what does it really take to be a medical student is medical school hard what are the stages in medical school what does these stages entail? what is the hardest year in the medical school and other things that you need to know before going into the video proper on this channel we are committed to making videos on education and career guides so if you are new here i'm Kosem, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as to receive notification whenever we upload another video. What does it really take to be a medical student? Okay, yeah, uh, to be a medical student, all it really takes, yeah, know that definitely there are challenges. All it takes is from you and from those around you. Okay, when I mean from you, you have the passion, how oriented yeah, are you uh, about the field? You cannot just jump in, okay. Since you are not glad you also to jump into medical school, it won't be easy. I don't think that you might fall out or you'll find it easy. Okay, okay. You might be at the end of the year graduate where you see that you require something and that was deficient. And that might even make you to a kind of maybe you wish you have had Art. yeah, yeah. maybe such orientation about your medical school. Anyone can be in medical school. You just need consistent. You need to be consistent. But also you need to be active. You need to participate in whatever that has been done. And if I talk about people around you know, the support, you need you need support both emotionally, financially, financially yeah, and, and otherwise for you to, to be a medical student. student. Before going into every other questions, I would like to ask you this question, which is very, very important and which I think it's one of the things that everyone watching this video or someone watching this video would like to hear is how hard is medical school? It is subjective. Yeah, generally. No, if you want to look at it at any angle, you see that medicine is hard. But when you come into the system, you know how your own level of the way you assimilate things, you realize that, okay, I can cope with it. Just at the end of the day, you now see that, okay, medicine is hard or medicine is not hard. But as I said earlier, it's subjective. Depending on how you play your cards. Okay, if you, some, if you are somebody that is consistent, definitely, you realize that it's not something that is hard. You just need to be consistent. consistent. That's why I say it's subjective. If you are someone that they kind of toil around with things, okay, you don't participate, definitely you find it hard. In overall, talking about the hardship in medical school, how hard it is, the subject and everything, I'll tell you that it's subjective. It's based on individual. And so what are the stages in the medical school? Okay, no, the stages or the phases, you can divide it broadly into two. You have the preclinical stage and you have the clinical stage. For the preclinical stage, you spend three years. Okay, okay. And okay. for the clinical stage, you spend okay. another three years. Three years, okay. Altogether makes it six years. Six. But in our set here, it is six plus X, and that X is <laughs> not zero. No zero. <laughs> it's not zero. <laughs> so, okay. What is the preclinical stage and things? Okay. What are the things you expect in the preclinical stage of the medical school? Okay, as we said earlier, that in the preclinical stage, you spend three years. Yes. Okay, in your year one, you do your basics and a big step above, maybe the chemistry, the biology, physics, you do your practicals and other general subjects. And that is in year one? In year one. In some schools, it is peculiar. In our setting here, in, at the University of Medigree, degree. Yeah, you start, you do mathematics, unlike many schools, they don't do mathematics in year one. In year one. For the University of Learning, instead of doing mathematics, you can take up a zoology. In year one. In year one, actually, in year one. In the preclinical stage, no, you deal with cadaver. Cadaver. You don't deal with life human beings. You deal with dead human Although some schools, they use what they call mannequins. They are just like models for humans. They have the organs, the everything that you can see in a human. Then going to, okay, in your year two, you do your, your anatomy, your biochemistry, and your physiology. Uh, and in those aspects, you see a kind of putting community medicine. You start community medicine from in year two. In year two. Okay. But as I said earlier, some schools are peculiar. For ABU, you start community medicine in year one. Hmm. So in general, hmm. all over, we are still moving at this point. Yeah, yeah. We have the same destination. 
So in your year three, you still do your anatomy, you do your physiology and your biochemistry. Okay. Just when they give you the basics now, they give you study the normal, normal things in human, both in the chemical form, its functions and its structure. Then when you now move to the clinical stage, that's when you now study about the disease that affects the chemical, the structure and the functions. functions yeah. So functions. That you see the application of what has been gathered in the preclinical stage. Yeah, what have you got? You see the disease parts, the pathology aspects in the clinical the stage. stage. The, this one you meet with patient life. Okay. Or like in the preclinical So stage. now you are talking about the, the clinical stage. So the, what the clinical stage it entails. entails. Oh, what okay. it entails. Now for the clinical, see the clinical. You see, you meet to interact with patient. You ask patient about his, his or her the disease. You try to know okay, what disease and how to go about in the management of the disease. Oh, disease. You have to do introduction when it comes to the clinical stage. You have to do it. To, you build on it in your year four, you build on it in your year five, you build on it and in your six, year, year six, your, your final year, you also build on it. You'll be dealing with live humans, not cadavers, Dava not anymore. dead, but not cadavers anymore. And here, you kind of tend to meet with patients, you interact with patients, you go to work, you go for tutorials, you go for word rounds, that's what they call posting. And each posting in each courses, they have speculated, speculated periods for it. Like here, for the as you come into your clinical, you do medicine two month posting, you do your surgery two month posting, yeah. and before you now proceed to obstetric and gynecology, where you do two months, and pediatrics two months also. And in between it, you'll be doing your lab medicines. The lab medicines are the pharmacology and the pathology. We have under pathology, you have microbiology, but here we include it. We include microbiology as part of pathology. You have microbiology, you have the hematology, you have the chemical pathology. But okay, after the day's activities at your convenience, before the next morning, before you go for a world round, you are expected to go to the world to interact with patients. Patient. I mean, you clerk. When you clerk, you examine the patient. And you are expected to compile what you've gotten from the patient. Then you make meaning out of it by compiling it so as we well read on it. Like you, you said something about clerking now. Yeah. So what does that mean in the clinical stage? It's an avenue that a student meets a patient, you ask the patient some questions yes. that will help you in coming up with what's wrong with the patient. Because actually the patient that comes to you has a problem. So you are trying to a kind of getting what the problem is. So that is the clacking. It is the accumulation of this knowledge now that will help you in managing a patient. patient. Yeah. So talking about the preclinical state and the clinical state, they all work together. They work so and what you person. what you acquire in the preclinical state are what you're going to apply in the clinical state. Yeah, you can't dump so the knowledge. The you knowledge. have to bring everything together. Uh, now, um, let me ask you, like, what is the hardest year not even the assets of the the hardest <laughs> year of medical school. Uh, when you mentioned this question, I just laughed back. <laughs> yeah, I laughed looking back at my year four. Yeah, in this uh, setting here, they will tell you that year four is hard because of the number of months you have to spend. Right. Number of months you have to spend in that particular class. And then you need to spend about 16 months. In that is year more four. than a year. More than a year. In year four, and we call it yeah. a year still spend more than a year yeah more than a year okay more than a year you are just coming in this is what you need okay you just come up from your preclinical to your clinical and you are you have a lot to a kind of assimilate at the same time but it's quite i think they kind of hectic. hectic so i think year four for me was a kind so of was a kind of, the, of yeah the, the hardest, hardest and the longest of, yes. so oh. far okay. is there a difference between uh mbbs and bds in the universe, in the medical school like what they do how similar is what they do and what are the things they do differently uh, coming to battle of dental surgery that is bds we do almost the same thing in our year three okay after we are done with our exams they start oral anatomy oral physiology which they do for about two to three months right. then after then we start part four together that is year four the clinical stage together then after the end of the clinical stage, they, they will go on to their departments where they will be taking their own core courses. Then from there, you they parted with their medicine uh, counterparts where they continue taking their own courses. Now when it comes to posting, 
in some of those co uh, courses mm. they, they kind of stay longer like for pediatrics they add one month to it when it comes to their own posting and in their own medicine and surgery posting they, they stay longer than their MBBS uh, MB, those in MBBS yes. because MBBS they, they will still come back and do their intermediate posting posting on okay. it, on it. Yes. So, so what is the grading system in the medical school okay the grading system in medical school uh, they don't use this uh, CGP. This CGP. This CGP. There is the, they use part, uh, percentage assessments. Now you have your, you need to have fifty percent. You need to have fifty percent before you pass. At least. At least fifty percent. How it is being breakdown down is okay. In a particular course, you have okay. You do your practical and everything. That is before the exams. Exam. It's thirty percent. It's thirty percent. Now that is for the CA. It's thirty percent. Then when it comes to the exam, you do your theory, you do your um, practical also, you do your oral examination and you do your written examinations. All those are until 70 marks. And in one particular course, you could have subset in it. And each of them is being broken and they have the mark allocated to it. They will keep telling you, the medical, when you see a medical student, he will tell you that 0 0.1 mark is essential. It's, for essential mark. Yeah. it's very essential to pass. So that is the uh, grading system. Yes, it's it's percentage. It's percentage. In AB Amadubello University, Zaria, in your year one, they use CGP. But when you proceed, you use your percentage, percentage assessment. assessment. That is, so that is how it is. And if you are lucky, I think about just a small percentage get to have distinction in some of those courses. Yes, that is 17. Then it should not be that if you are pursuing the grades. Mm -hmm. Try to know what you need to know. You need to know. Then you build on it. And you must participate. Okay, you must participate in what is being done. Like if you need to go to your rounds, you go to rounds. You need to go to um, your tutorials. You go for tutorial and your bed size and your so just on the kind of build you. So I think um, let's make this the end of the video. Right. Thank you very okay, much. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I want to believe that you have benefit one thing or the other. Then if you are having anything or any question apart from what we have discussed in this video don't forget to tell us in the comment section below and maybe that would be another reason for us to come up with another video on uh, mbbs uh, bds and medical school generally don't forget to like and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not see you in another interesting video bye for now